Hundreds of members of a militant group in Ondo State, the United Sea Wolf Avengers, have signified their intention to be included in the federal government's amnesty program. Members of the group made their intention known in Igbokoda, headquarters of Ilaje local government area of the state. TVC's Ayo Deji Muradeo tells us more. A few days to the inspiration of the ultimatum given by Governor Rotimi Akeredolu to armed youth in Undo State to embrace amnesty, more and more militant groups are embracing the program. The latest group that has shown interest in the exercise is the United Sea Wolf Avengers. In what looks like a scene in one of Hollywood movies, the armed youth openly brought out their arms and ammunition. The weapons in the custody of members of this group are large in number. They are of different sizes and types. The leader of the group, Deji Enimowo, popularly known as the general, explained why they have decided to embrace the amnesty program. I'm prepared, ready, willingly Willing. to, to submit all my arms. There must be a meeting, a stakeholder meeting by the, the, the board to invite all the generals of the camps to dialogue. In 2009, I'm a general in the days of Tompolo. We also want government to engage them in useful ventures. They don't come to dialogue with us that we should surrender all our arms, that they are ready to equip us, they are ready to empower us. So we ourselves, we say we are ready to submit all our arms. But if there, uh, our people will be saying we won't learn work. We don't want to learn work for worry. We don't want to learn work for further culture. We don't want to learn for work for Akure. As they do for the first place, where they carry they go Malaysia, where they go, we go in Bosio. That's all we say. Then we won't travel, go abroad. Society where there is... The chairman of the Media and Publicity Committee of the State Amnesty Program, Donald Ojigo, in a separate interview expressed optimism that more armed dudes will embrace the program. So we are managing it, and I know that by God's grace, by the time the 21 days expire, we would have required, we recovered quite a lot of this arms and ammunition and peace. Members of the United Sea Wolf Avengers are expected to surrender arms to government officials. In the coming days, I already more rather TVC news in Bokoda in those states.